Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for software tutorials and tech made simple. In today's video, we are diving into RoboMotion, a powerful business automation software that helps you streamline repetitive tasks and boost productivity all without writing a single line of code. So we will walk you through everything from signing up, setting up your first robot, to giving you a live demo of an automation workflow in action. Whether you're new to automation or just exploring tools beyond Zapier or Make, this video will give you a clear head start with Robomotion's drag and drop interface and cross-platform capabilities. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of RoboMotion. On the top corner, you have an option to log in using your credentials. Click the Get Started or click the Try for Free Orange button and it will be forwarded to a new page. It's very simple. All I have to do is provide your full name, email address, company name, which is optional, and also the phone number. Click the Agree to this Terms and Conditions and then you will be forwarded to the main homepage of Robo Motion Agents. On the left side is going to be the three dots or three horizontal lines, which gives you the designer. This is where you design your automation workflows. All right, so you can build how the agent or bot will behave, like extracting data, clicking buttons, or sending emails. The admin gives you an option for the management of the area platform, which gives you all the sections that we are going to explore now. Again, the dashboard gives you the system activity, including running jobs, active robots if you have, the flows, and some kind of like uh, statistics, completed tasks, errors, or usage, which is good for monitoring the health and performance of your automation setup at a glance. All right. Now, the part of publish flows lists all of the automation flows, scripts that have been published and are ready to deployment these are created in the robomotion studio and pushed here for execution by robots all right and as you can see we don't have any published flows yet but we're gonna go to the collaborators the collaborators is a section where you can manage people who have access to your workplace all right so you have the libraries and the flows but the thing is you can assign roles here like admin developer or operator to control permissions of course the most important part is going to be the robots all right now since we don't have any robot yet this is going to be a op perfect opportunity for you to add a robot let's say for example the robot name is robot type is is it going to be a development or a production depending on your preferences and needs now we're going to be using the first option, all right? So it's uh, robot limit is reached for development of robots. How about production, all right? So if you reach that, you'll be able to add a robot here. Now the download option gives you an option here for the Windows 64 bit if you want it, all right? And if you want to download this RoboMotion on the Mac OS 64 bit and on the Linux, you can also do that here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this. There's going to be an action here to delete. Robot type is going to be development and click the create button. All right, so the robot has been accessed successfully created and there's the type is development the actions you can edit that you can generate token if you want and you have a pending schedules now the thing is with the robots it would include the online and offline status like inversion in which flows they are assigned to so we don't have any published flows yet but later on we're going to do that of course the users is a section where you can manage user accounts in your workspace you can invite user here put their name email you can assign roles for example admin member or guest depending on your preferences all right and then there's going to be the trigger section it's this will define event-based start conditions for flows for example if you want to add a trigger select your trigger type is it going to be file system mail http cure hardware for example is it going to be an 
maybe a, an, an HTTP or maybe a mail. Select a mail trigger item. Is that going to be a receive? Now, this is your uh, um your way to put all the information: the mail folder from to um subject body and of course the mail check interval is it going to be every 15 minutes you can choose from any of the following and click the mail credentials and hit that all right the schedules gives you a section here to set time based triggers for your automation flows you can support recurring runs like for example it runs around like 5 p.m or every monday at 9 a.m you can create a scheduled flow put in the name flow type time zone and a lot more the queues refers to handling work items or tasks that needs to be processed in a queue based model it is useful for handling large data sets or parallel processing using multiple robots again you have the option to create a queue here just put in the name description and click the ok button all right the jobs refers to the show execution details of flows you have the past and current runs all right it includes statuses like success failed running logs and duration so i'm gonna skip this and go to the licenses if you have a license it will be displayed here which if you have used licenses for bots or users if you want to add a license select the license right here from your uh, computer or from uh cloud and if you want to request license you can do that so you have multiple options request license for development robots on-demand robots production robots duration is it going to be one month or until 12 months and then they will contact you via email address the audit refers to all the activity logs including user actions job runs and security events all right now the repositories is going to be the central location for storing flow files scripts and resources for example if you have like a python scripts excel templates click on the add repository and you have provide the name description and the url of course if you want to give an access to everyone you can share this among team members for a consistent development obviously this subscription refers to managing your plan right now we're on their free plan if you want to change the plan all right click on it you can either upgrade or downgrade your workplace plan here, depending on your preferences. The API provides access to the RoboMotion API for integration with external systems. Of course, you can create tokens. If you click the Generate Token, you can have an option to read and write and click the token name and click the Generate, which is kind of good for documentation and manage endpoints. Next is going to be the Agents, which is referring to the services running on client machines if you want to create agent that interacts with the robomotion cloud click on the uh, create agent provide the agent name description select a flow is it going to be a guided or conversational depending on you and click the create button all right last section we're going to deal with is the monitoring which is kind of very important you have a real-time and historical monitoring of robots jobs queues and triggers it is useful for performance tracking and identifying bottlenecks or errors and with that being said that wraps up our walkthrough of robo motion and of course if you are automating simple tasks or managing complex workflows RoboMotion definitely proves to be a powerful tool for business automation. Again, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you want more in-depth guides like this one, do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.